back to the pig room, you guys. I am really anticipating to get the girls into their new enclosures and also Leon and Styles and Toby and Lennon and Willow. All of the pigs, well, most of the pigs are getting an upgrade in today's video or just some kind of arrangement. If you guys watched my last video with bonding my boys and my girls with each other, I just want to finally say out loud that I am so incredibly happy that we have finally found a bond that works. I now have a small herd of five guinea pigs and that leaves me with only two cages of girls, which is going to make my life so much more easier. So I'm super excited for cleaning days and stuff like that. I am kind of realizing now that it may be even a little bit more upkeep with spot cleans because there's going to be even more amounts of poops within the cage compared to when it was just my trio. So adding two more and having a group of five is definitely going to be a lot more poop and pee. So I am expecting there to be more spot cleanings, but nonetheless, it's going to be a lot easier because it's just one cage and I can just manage that and not have to do three separate cages for my girls. I am possibly thinking about bonding Lennon and Willow, my other two remaining girls with the herd, um, but I definitely will not be doing Doing that for a couple weeks just because I really want to make sure that they feel comfortable with each other. So when it comes to bonding, you know, there's so many methods out there like buddy baths and scent swapping and just, you know, fresh off the bat with two pigs that have never met and just putting them together and seeing how it works. There's a lot of methods that you can go about pairing guinea pigs together and seeing if they do well with one another. And I just wanted to speak from my experience with having the girls in my room for the last three days and in their bonding pen. Well, almost three days. We're approaching it very soon. I want to speak from my personal experience with bonding my herd together because I realized that there's not a lot of information out there or videos that really say you know how their experiences went and stuff like that or why it worked like that or why they did this and not that and I just wanted to say to you guys I feel like a big thing uh, that really has made this bond a lot easier for the girls and something that's been really smart for me to do on my end is to keep them in the bonding pen for at least two to three days. We're approaching the third day and I can definitely say that them being in here for the last three days has really allowed them to work on the relationships with one another and the ones that were not getting along are now getting along. The ones that were humping each other are not humping each other. It's still kind of going on here and there but it's definitely gone down at least like 75% which I'm really happy about. So if you guys are interested in doing a herd, specifically you know females because that's really the only herds that you can do, you cannot do herd males. I definitely suggest doing a big pen and just keeping them in there for over the extended amount of time than what they say for like a couple hours or even a day. Go above and beyond that. I would do at least two days because they're really able to just get a close bond without having to go into a completely new territory and then figuring it out all again. But that is of course, you know, my own personal belief. You can do whatever you want, but just speaking from personal experience with how these things have gone with my pigs, I definitely think just having them in here for the last three days has really helped out for the relationship. So with that all being said, I think we're just going to move into the pig room and get to work. Um, um, I'm just really excited to just get these cages moving. It's been a uh, you know hectic with uh, Toby, which I will talk about, and Ashton, um, and I have you know two more lone pigs, males, and it's just. It's it's frustrating, um, but if anything, you know, we had some good come out of it with the girls bonding. So it is what it is. There's no controlling it. Luckily, I have the room to make room for Toby and have his own cage, not in the center of the room, which is where he is right now. So it's all going to work out in the end. And then I will obviously think about bonding maybe Toby and Ezra in the future, but we will obviously get there when we get there. So let's go ahead and move into the pig room and I will give you guys a rundown about what's happening today. So this is the current status of the pig room. As you can see, there is a lot going on here. We have all clean laundry right here, which is like stack super high. We've got their drawers with some accessories. We've got Toby. We've got the vacuum, trash, empty cages. There's a lot going on in this pig room that needs to get rearranged and figured out, but that is exactly what we are doing in today's video. So before we begin, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. So Toby and Ashton, who were living in that cage before, are split up. Ashton, this little troublemaker over here, my agouti, he actually ended up attacking Toby. And I walked in here one morning and realized that Toby was not acting himself. I could tell right off the bat that there was something wrong with him. And come to find out after checking him, he had a bunch of cuts and bites all over his back. So I separated him, I took care of him. He's been getting Neosporin for the last couple of days and he is making really great improvements. I can definitely tell he's a lot calmer and a lot more at ease in being in his own enclosure. So that makes me feel a lot better. But unfortunately, you know, now we have one, two, three, four, five lone pigs. So I'm really upset about that. But again, that does leave me with more opportunity to figure out bondings between any of these pigs and seeing if they work well with each other. So I'm going to go ahead and explain to you guys what is happening in regards to where everyone is going because you guys might be a little confused, but uh, we're going to make it work. I promise you. Leon and Mr. Styles are currently living in a two by four CNC cage. They have been actually for the last, how long have I had them for? Maybe two, two months. It's a, uh, you know, it works for them, but you know, they do sometimes, you know, bicker here and there 
and it just kind of comes out in spurts. But for the most part, they're really, really, really great friends. But they are the most chunkiest boys ever, and they definitely need a bigger space. So they will actually be going from here, a two by four, into here, which is a three by seven, which is where my trio used to live. Just want to make note to you guys as well, I sanitized everything, the grids, the chloroplast. I sprayed down a bunch of vinegar and water solution and just let it soak in there before I wiped it. So it should not have a single scent of the girls in here, which should not trigger anything within the boys. So just so you guys know, this is completely sanitized and clean. So my plan is to just work on them first and get this all cleared out and just have them in here. I do have some fresh fleece. I have a bunch of laundry that's clean. We're going to add their items from their cage and just make it all nice and pretty. I'm just really happy for them to finally have a place in this pig room to call home. We'll probably end up moving this right here and then we'll work on the girl's cage, which is going to be right here. So theirs is going to be actually a three by 10. So the five girls are going to live in a three by 10 CNC cage. And then I'm going to extend this entire cage, top and bottom by three grids, leaving me with a three by, how big is that? 15, 15 grids. So I'll divide the cage right here. So from here all the way to here is where the herd will be. And then from here to here is where Lennon and Willow will be. They'll be moved right over there. And then Toby right over here, who's currently living in his three by three as well, is going to be right over there. So we'll have Ezra in his three by three, Vision in his three by three, and then Toby in his three by three. I will have to get some chloroplast from Home Depot as well, because this chloroplast base is obviously not big enough. Um, I may just like cut down these sides of the walls and just flap them over and tape them. So that way it just turns into a three by 10. And then with a new sheet that I get from Home Depot, I'll just build Lennon and Willow's cage right here. And then also for Toby's. Let's go ahead and just start working on Leon and Mr. Styles. I'm just going to start adding stuff into their cages. I don't have any custom liners for them. I'm just going to use a new piece of fleece, which I actually got from Joanne's recently, which I've been dying to use because it's super cute. Nice anti-pill black and white plaid pattern. This isn't probably big enough for the three by seven. I think it's only a uh, big enough for a three by six, but just to make up for it, I have the target bath mats, which I'll end up using for um, the remainder that it doesn't fill up. Just to give you guys a rundown of what their cage looks like. So here we have it all set up with their new fleece. Just to let you know as well, this is already pre-wicked, so it's all good to go. We've got one of their picky beds in the corner, their palchi house. They love going on top of things as well, so I have the cushions up there. A little chew toy, one, two more chew toys, and then some wooden sticks for them to chew on, as well as this as well. This used to be actually the uh, Timothy condensed cubes on here, but they ate all of it, so it's just these sticks now. We've got their fiddlestick tunnel, which Autumn actually gifted me for Christmas, which they love so much. They've got their Timothy Hay Hut, which I just put on top of the bed with a pad so it's extra cozy. Got their little kitchen area with their pellets and then some fresh hay, bath mat, and then this pee pad as well, just because it is actually not long enough. So it actually is about three inches too short. So I just put that right there to cover it. And then we're just going to get their water bottle and then we'll be uh, moving these two boys in. You guys can just see how big they are. They are so chunky. They're actually bigger than Jojo. They're almost like four pounds. They are some chunky boys. So they definitely are in need of a bigger cage. All right guys, so our first boy who is going in is Mr. Styles right here. The most pretty boy ever. Are you ready to go in your new cage, buddy? He's got such like cute little long hair on the bum. Oh my goodness, are you ready, bud? We're gonna explore and everything. There you go, good boy. All right. Mr. Styles is in, now it is Leon's turn. Now we've got Leon right here, who's actually even more chunky than Mr. Styles. I'm just gonna put them in because I know they're anticipating going in. Hi, hello. You ready? <laughs> the boys are exploring. I can already tell they're gonna love this so much. They may get a little bit, uh, you know, 
bickery with each other just because it's completely fresh and new and they're probably gonna have to establish a little bit of dominance with each other again. Yeah, they're gonna love this so much. Going from a two by four to now a three by seven, they're gonna have so much more room to run around. They loved being out for free roam time. So it's just gonna be not as necessary because they're gonna have all this space to run around and explore. So I'm really, really happy that I was able to do this for them. And it also took long enough as well because I've had these boys now for about two months that I've been meaning to get them into a bigger cage. So I'm just really happy to be able to do this now and provide for them. Do you like your new cage, buddy? Mr. Styles, yes? <laughs> Alright guys, so now that Leon and Mr. Styles' old cage is all cleared out, vacuumed, cleaned, I now have this room back to actually move back this medical table to the middle, thus creating more room for me to actually build the cages over here. I'll probably actually not put it here, I'll probably put it up against here so I have more room to work. So as I mentioned before, I'm going to actually extend this cage by three grids this way. Almost, like it's gonna have to squeeze a little bit just to fit the three grids. I don't think I'm gonna actually be able to put a connector for one of the pieces, so I might have to zip tie it super strongly because this baseboard is just making making it a little bit shorter than 15 feet long this entire wall and that's exactly what I need in order to make three grids this way. So I'll kind of finesse a way to just get it squeezed in there so that way I can have Toby's cage moved right here. But nonetheless, I'll figure it out. So let's go ahead and organize all of this mess, move it over out of the way, and then we'll get working on building the cage. So because I built this cage to end right here, I actually ended up turning this flat side out and it actually needed to be rotated similar to that one. So I'm just gonna take this apart, probably can't do it with one hand, um, but just rotate it this way, how that one is. And that way I'll be able to actually slide this grid in right here.
So I just wanted to capitalize on the fact that if you guys are ever going to be doing stack cages for your pigs, it's really important that if you are using these types of connectors and grids, do not just use these connectors. They're very loose. They're not gonna like, you know, fall off if like you're storing stuff, but if you have live animals on them, it's definitely important that you're using them in combination with zip ties. So what I like to do is place them on the corners where they tend to fall off the most. So they're never really gonna like obviously slip from the middle. They're gonna slip from where they're actually supposed to be set into. So after you put the grids inside the connectors, just put a few zip ties and also I suggest turning them over so that way when the chloroplast base is sitting on top of this, this is going to be the floor. It's not gonna be any like weird bumps and lumpy and stuff. It's gonna sit nice and flush to the actual grids themselves. When it comes to actually putting zip ties over here, like inside of the cage, make sure that you turn outside the places where you cut where it's kind of sharper because you don't want your pig getting stabbed or chewing on them. So I'm always making sure to turn them inside out so that way the sharp end is pointing outwards to the cage. As you guys can see right here, so before it was turned this way, and then I'm just turning it that way. I'm also realizing now that I used the grids for his cage right there. I actually took three down there and just placed a little barrier. And then I used a lot of the grids for the bonding pen for the girls. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is put Toby inside of his carrier and then use the nine grids that are left to construct what I can right here. Probably just gonna construct the flooring because that's the main thing that I gotta worry about. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab Toby's grids put him in his carrier, and then we'll get constructing the rest of this right here. Progress has been made. So Lennon and Willow's cage is all gone from here and has been moved over to here. Toby is gone from here to over here. I haven't cut the chloroplast yet. I just have a piece of chloroplast, like a flat sheet, and then fleece on top of it as like a temporary situation for him. I did actually end up taking the grids from over here from Lennon and Willow's side and moved it to this side. I just didn't want any sense of any other females for when I moved the herd in right here because it would trigger something. So I'm just going to actually sanitize with my vinegar water solution and then I'll put the fresh grids that I use for the bonding pen, which is what they're in right now, and put it around this space right here. So I think I'm actually just going to end up putting them in inside of the three by nine. I think it just would work out better just because I wouldn't have to actually cut their smaller and they can just stay with the size that they have. And plus one more grid isn't really going to make that much of a difference. They do already have a massive size cage. It's 27 square feet. So it's plenty enough for five pigs, especially for females. And then what I'm going to end up doing with this is I'm going to probably, I think I'm gonna actually have to, yeah, I'm gonna have to end up using a sliver of this and then attach it to the base over here because the sheet of chloroplast is only eight feet long. So I believe I'm only gonna be able to make it to about here and then I'll just use what's left of this and just cut it to fill in the rest. And then to recycle this base even more, I'll just end up cutting what I need for Toby's cage, making him a three by three. Luckily, I don't have to buy more than one sheet of chloroplast, which is what I'm really, really happy about. It seems pretty secure. I'm actually really happy with how it's holding up. Again, zip ties are your number one key if you're going to be doing stack cages. So I'm now just going to clean up this room a little bit so that way I have more space to actually cut the chloroplast. I don't actually remember the exact measurements of what I need to do for the chloroplast. So I'm just going to have to do that over again, which shouldn't take that long because I've done so many of them So it's pretty easy for me, but um, yeah I'm gonna go clean up this make some room for the chloroplast to be uh, in this actual room Go get the chloroplast at Home Depot come back cut it out and then start assembling the cage So the thing about getting the chloroplast especially for my cages um, is that because they are three grids wide, I can't buy the medium sized sheet of chloroplast. I have to actually get the four foot by eight foot one. So it actually ends up literally going from 
the back of my car all the way to the front and it's just like hitting my head but that'll be fun to deal with i think i'll only have to get one sheet of a four by eight because i only technically need to extend the cage by three grids and then for the leftovers i have plans of actually creating um like custom litter boxes like big ones for them let's go ahead and get that and yeah i'll see you guys at home So I was just looking at the plastic sheets right here. This is where I always get them. And this was the first one that I pulled out. And it actually, I was like, this feels different. Like it's, feels more plasticky. I don't know, it's, I can't describe it. But I looked through the um, stack of them and I actually found the one that I use for all my cages. So you guys can see here, it's a little bit thicker in spacing. And then this one's less. So this one feels like it's not as bendable. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this one right here. It's just a four by eight foot sheet. It's like literally so big, but this is like the only size that they have. They don't have anything smaller. So this is literally what it's like to get one of these sheets home. That's like massive. Um, luckily it's literally the length of my car and the visor actually ends up keeping it up so I don't hit my head on this because the last time I didn't think of that and I was literally like driving like this. I literally feel like I'm doing cage renovations all the time. And then with Toby and Ashton getting split up, I have to do some more cage renovations, but it's all good. Thankfully, I have the room to like do all this kind of stuff. So it's really no biggie. Like I'm not like going to be wasting space. Like everything works out well. Um, it's just annoying that like my pigs are split. I'll steal hard on the home. It's just annoying that my pigs um, are split up and don't have friends. So it is what it is. guys so the cage is well almost assembled i have to grab the grids from their bonding pen and put them right here but it's all done guys it's all complete i'm so freaking happy with it as i mentioned before this is a three by nine cnc cage they have 27 square feet of room to just play around popcorn interact with one another. I think this is going to be an amazing size for five girls. I decided to do two kitchen areas. I'm actually gonna fill it with hay very soon as well as get their water bottles, but two kitchen areas on opposite sides so they can pick and choose which one they wanna be on and there's no fights. I've got one of their piggy bunk beds, guinea dad house, paunchy house, another bunk bed, another bunk bed, the black paw, white paw hammock, but I actually just end up making it a tunnel, and then another fiddlestick tunnel right there, and then a couple toys scattered all around. So I am really, really, really happy with this and how it all turned out. As you can see, it is just, it's, it's massive. It's gonna be so fun to see them in here for the first time. So I think the last thing for us to do is go ahead and grab the piggies. I'm gonna grab them in no specific order, just whoever I can grab first, and then we'll, uh, we'll see how they like it. All right, so we're gonna start off with putting this heiress in here. There we go. And then I'll just add in two more grids just to make sure that they're a little bit more protected while I am out getting some pigs. All 
All right, and then we have Wanda. There you go. And then we've got Kyle. Good girl. And then we've got Miss Teddy. There you go. And then we've got, last but not least, Miss Caroline. Alright guys, the pigs are now all finally in their cages. They are exploring. It seems like Willow's actually very mad for some reason. I think it's because she hasn't seen them in a really long time and just having so many pigs next to her, she's a little overwhelmed. Maybe she's having FOMO or jealous, who knows? Just seeing this, it almost makes me want to definitely do a future bonding with these two, with them in the future. But again, it's gonna take a couple weeks for me to actually do that because I need to get them adjusted to their new herd and all their surroundings. Here is their cage right here. I am so incredibly happy with it. It is an amazing size for the amount of pigs that is in here. I am going to also add more of their water bottles in here. I just have two for now. So in case they're thirsty, they can just drink, but I will be adding about two or three more. So they'll have plenty, at least one water bottle per pig. As I mentioned before as well, they have two hay areas. I'm actually going to be custom making uh, litter boxes out of chloroplast. So that way it's like a lot bigger. It's gonna be like the size of the bath mat. So that way, if anyone wants to jump in the actual litter box, they can all just fit in there and they won't have to fight over it. I am really, really, really happy about it. Um, I mean, there, there's just nothing else to say other than it's done. I'm so freaking happy. the room's gotta you know look like this and I gotta clean it up very soon Leon and mr. Styles are doing really well in theirs so they've just been <laughs> running around and doing stuff like that um, I haven't gotten around to doing Toby's yet I still have to make his three by three uh, chloroplast base I think this might be just the perfect size for that cage right there so I may just have to cut a little slit right there and just fold it up and he should be good to go obviously I'm going to sanitize it so that there's no smells on it whatsoever so I think what I'm gonna do next is just start cleaning up this room getting it back into order. So I just finished Toby's cage. That piece of chloroplast that was from the girl's cage ended up being literally so perfect. I didn't have to do anything other than just score this side right here, but he has a nice little three by three. It's a good size for one pig. I'm not going to complain. If I had a better option, I would give him a three by four. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna obviously move these up here so he doesn't do that. <laughs> like I was saying, if I had the means to, I would give all my single pigs a three by four, but a three by three is obviously better than any pet store cage you can find out there. So I'm really, really happy with this size. I think it works for single pigs. And now we have a three by three here, a three by three here, and a three by three here. So my plans for Toby is to obviously get him all nice and back to full health. You know, he still has his bite marks and stuff like that. They are healing really nicely, but it's also gonna take some time for him to recover like emotionally through that experience. So I will try and end up bonding him with Ezra, but that's not going to be happening for another couple weeks because with how much craziness has gone on these last couple days, I just really want to take a break, have everyone get settled in, and then we'll think about doing bondings in the future. All right, everyone, the pig room is all nice and clean. I still have to do some more rearranging of their items, um, but I will get to that probably tomorrow and just store away in the closet and stuff. But for the most part, everything is just, it's looking so much better. I have my floor back. There's not a cage in the middle. There's not a cage over there. Everyone has a place to call home in the pick room, which I'm so incredibly happy about. The girls are doing amazing. They've been in here now for about two and a half hours. And as you can tell, they are already loving it. Sleeping, sleeping, eating, drinking, eating hay. They're just having a great time. So I am really so happy to see them all enjoying their new space. We of course got Lennon and Willow enjoying their cage. Who's getting a full cage clean tonight. Toby over there, Vision, Ezra, Winston, and Kai, who are all getting full cage cleanings tonight, but I will obviously do that off camera. And then we've got Jojo, Ashton, and then Leon and Mr. Siles, who have been loving their new cage in space. Leon is just, oh, I think I woke him up. He was just snoozing away a bit ago. But yeah, they are doing really, really well. They actually are not as messy as they were 
four and the two by four, which I am really happy to see. I think because the cage was just a little bit too small, they were just able to make a bigger mess. So seeing now there's not a big mess in this big cage, I think it's really gonna help me out in keeping them even cleaner. So guys, this is the new pig room. I really hope you like the look of it. I think just having the pigs along the left and right hand sides of the wall and no pigs kind of in the center of the room and kind of weird shapes is going to make my life so much easier. And also cleanup is going to be a breeze because there's no corners or anything for poops to go into anymore. I am so incredibly happy with all the work that I got done today. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love having you here and along with me on this journey. Please make sure as always to give this video a big thumbs up and also leave a comment down below. I love talking with you guys and I try to respond to as many comments as possible. So please feel free to leave something in the comments below and also subscribe if you wanna see more weekly content like this. I have plenty of new ideas coming up in the near future, which I'm really excited to get to filming and showing off to you guys. So prepare for that. Etsy shop is coming soon, probably within the next couple of days. So expect some videos on studio vlogs and preparing for my Etsy launches. So yeah, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And also, I think this is actually my sign off. Um, I I've just been saying it in every single video and I think it just has stuck with me. I hope it sticks with you guys, but I hope you and your piggies are happy, safe, and healthy, and I will see you guys next week. Bye, guys.